The Electoral Commission of Namibia just launched its electoral calendar containing all electoral activities. The general vote registration will take place from the 3rd of June to the 1st of August. The Chief Electoral and Referenda Officer Pietrus Sharma says the commission has been long preparing for the elections to ensure a seamless process. However, Sharma says there will always be challenges including possible low voter turnout. He notes, though, that the ECN has come up with a strategy to ensure that young people do show up at the polls. Uh, are taking the bigger portion of our population in our voters register or eligible voters. So we, uh, we want to, the youth to take the lead. That's why we even have introduced the lead youth ambassadors so that we can uh, encourage the, the youth to take part in registration and eventually voting. The executive director at the Institute for Public Policy Research, Graham Hopwood, says that it is imperative for young people to get involved in elections. Young people must have the courage to stand up and, uh, and make it known that they have political views and uh, they're going to express them at least by going to the polls and voting. Um, so yeah, it's absolutely crucial because our elections, the turnout is going down and that's probably partly because young people are turned off in various ways. And uh, we really have to focus this year and spend a lot of energy and effort on encouraging uh, young people to take part in this process. The lead youth ambassador, Oriana Ribeiro, says most young people do not participate in the election due to lack of knowledge. Really being educated or not having a lot of information about these processes and their importance. So, um, as it was said, I think it's very important that the youth especially is educated and informed about the proceedings of everything, how things are going to work, why this is necessary, what individual parties are stepping. Namibia and other four sided countries such as South Africa, Botswana, Mauritius and Mozambique will be holding elections this year.